Hey, what's going on you guys? Old School Zerker here and welcome to my fifth clue scroll of the week. And in this clue scroll video, we're going to be doing yet another level two clue scroll and it says probably filled with wizard socks. So we're currently here at the wizard's tower and we need to kill something to get a key apparently. And according to Rune HQ, we need to kill a spell wisp outside the tower, but all I'm seeing outside the tower is these wizards that are level 9, so I'm going to try and kill one and see if that's what it's talking about. Other than that, I really don't have any clue as to what will drop this key. Let's see. Okay, he dropped it. Cool. So that just must be an EOC. So we need to go to the third floor, I believe. And yeah, we need to go... Um... Okay, so I made a mistake. Apparently, we needed to come down to the basement, and uh, Rune HQ was completely wrong as to where we needed to go. It said I needed to go to the third floor, but actually, I needed to go to the basement, and I had to open these drawers down here. It took me quite a while to figure that out, but yes, we finally got the next clue scroll. That was a lot harder than I anticipated it to be. All right, so we got a map clue, and... Hmm. That looks like it might be underwater, but... I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to look that one up. I, I don't really know where that is off the top of my head, so I'm going to go figure out where that is right now. Okay, so apparently we have to go to the southern part of the path to Morton, which means that we have to go through the Canifus Swamp, which kind of sucks, but it, it's not too horrible. So I figured I would take this time uh, as best of any. Oh, shit. I forgot to refill my Acto file. Hold on. Anyways, I kind of wish they would uh, add the uh, refill option to the Ecto file, the automatic refill option. That would be a lot more helpful. But anyways, as I was saying, we're heading down to the southern part of the swamp here. And I just want to kind of wanted to kind of explain that I'm not going to be doing level 3 clue scrolls for a while on these videos. I kind of want to wait until like I get all the required quests done and have like all of the skills to do it. Like I want to get my fishing up to 68 so I can get into the fishing guild and uh I need I know I need to like start legends quest because I know some level 3 clues make you go down to the very southern part of Karamja, and the only way to get down there is if you're like at a certain point in the Legends quest. So I'm probably not going to do level 3s until I have like all that shit done so I don't have to drop any of them. Because I really hate dropping clue scrolls, I always wonder what if that was the third age one, and it just kind of bugs the hell out of me. So I'm not even going to bother doing it until I have all of those uh, prerequisites, I could say. So yeah, I just kind of want to let you guys know about that. Anyways going to be continuing down to where we need to go. So we're finally here at the southern part of the path to Morton and looking at the map here it looks like we need to go eight paces north, six paces west, and two south. So we're right above these rocks. I'm assuming that's the rocks it was talking about. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then six west. That was south. Okay. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, wouldn't let me go there. Uh, hmm. Let me recheck this. And then two south, which looks like we got to go kind of into like an opening. Um, this looks like an opening. <laughs> Let's try this. Okay, we got it. I guess we were a little bit off. Anyways, we found it. So what's inside the casket? Another clue scroll. And it's a coordinate clue. It is a coordinate clue. <laughs> Slurred my words there a little bit. So I'm going to check where that is, and I will meet you guys there. All right, so apparently we needed to go right above the Baxtorian Falls waterfall. And I'm sure most of you guys recognize this place, because I'm sure most of you guys have done the waterfall quest. I haven't been back to this place since I completed the quest, to be honest, like a month ago. I haven't even trained on the Fire Giants once. I just did it for the XP. So apparently it's somewhere on this island, and I think it's going to be right here. And I was correct. I didn't even have to check the coordinates. Nice. And we get our reward. Ooh, a Zamorak page. Hell yeah. That's, I don't know how much that's worth, but I'm definitely keeping that. Hell yeah. 
That's one page down towards a full Zamorak book. Awesome. What else did we did we get? Amulet of Power, Green Dehyde Chaps, and 93 Earth Runes. Awesome. That's a kick-ass reward. Hell yeah. I'm really excited about that. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm definitely not going to sell that. I'm for sure going to keep that. Because that'd be really cool to get a whole Zamorak page through just Clue Scrolls. But yeah, that's... <laughs> wow. I'm re that's definitely my best clue scroll, clue scroll reward so far. Wow. Awesome. So this week's best Clue Scroll reward goes to Creative, who managed to get a Robin Hood hat out of a level 3 Clue Scroll, which is amazing. It's an awesome reward. That's worth at least 6 to 7 mil at this point in the game. And to top it all off, he also managed to get some Black Dehyde Chaps, a Rune Sword, and also a rune pickaxe. It's always nice to get the black dehyde and the rune items on top of a really awesome clue scroll reward. I'm just, I'm completely jealous of him. And also, you guys, I'm not getting very many submissions for the best clue scroll uh, reward winner. Make sure you send them in, guys. If you're doing a clue scroll, all you need to do is just take a screenshot or use any sort of software that you have to take a picture of your reward while it's still inside the reward scroll as shown on the screen now. It has to be inside that, otherwise I will not take it. Just because I really have no way of telling whether or not you got that from a reward or you just bought it. Um, but yeah, it has to be inside the scroll. And then just link me to any uh, image sharing website. All you got to do is upload the picture to any image sharing website. There's tons of them out there. And then all you need to do is just send me a private message on YouTube to a link to that. And if it's the best one that I've seen, then you'll be featured in the end of the Clue Scroll of the Week videos. And as usual, if you guys want to know how to spell Creative's uh, username, it's down in the bottom left-hand corner where it always is. And I'll be linking you guys to his YouTube channel down below in the description. Be sure to like this video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe for more Old School RuneScape videos. Peace. Yeah, we taking over. Yeah, we taking over the game. Mm. I knew it